Hey gang, so today I'm doing a video which I don't usually do because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. I've been seeing a lot lately, a lot more lately, um, around the internet uh, articles about that beauty hack where you put scotch tape um, next to your waterline to help um, get your cat eye uh, even and perfect and crisp. And that just sounds like it's a lot more work than it needs to be. And eyeliner is already hard enough. Also, I can't imagine putting scotch tape on your eyelid every day. It sounds like a bikini wax for your face. I'm kind of wearing a ton of makeup right now. I'm wearing uh, foundation, um, Makeup Forever's HD foundation, and then um, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealer um, to hide my huge dark circles. Also, I should get the hair out of my face. I feel like I'm in high school again with my mom screaming at me, Tiny, get your hair out of your face. No. At least my hair was my natural color at that point. Um, so here we go. Fuck. Like, imagine doing this in the morning. Absolutely not. I've got, oh god, I, this is already really uncomfortable. Um, I've already got enough stuff on my bathroom counter. I don't eat office supplies. And I don't spend much time, ah, on my, ah. See, all my concealer's gone right there. Why would you do this? I would like to think that getting ready in the morning doesn't take me that long, but like, that's probably not true. In my experience, it can be either gay or punctual, not both. I've seen a lot of people use liquid liners for this, which obviously makes sense. I'm gonna use gel liners. I look like such an asshole right now. Um, I'm gonna use a gel liner just because I prefer them. Um, and in the real world, I wouldn't be wearing liquid anyway, I'd be wearing gel. I'm using Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner. This shit is awesome. I mean, this will stay in your lash line for like three days, which I'm all about. This shade is called Standout Peacock. It's like a bluish turquoise green, whatever. Sorry about all the other swatches, but like, look at how pretty that is. Right. The brush that I'm using is also from Sigma. It's the Winged Liner E06 brush. So I'm just going in. You know, fuck this. Sorry. So I'm gonna start at my point, I think, and then work my way down to get that wing. See how that works. Shit, shit. Oh fuck, is this actually working? All right, so that's one side. Let's take this off and see how it looks. I'm not convinced. Are you? Ow. I mean, it's all right, right? Can you see? It looks clean and it looks nice. I'm not so sure about the angle itself, but I also like don't really care. Um, as long as it looks good, that's really what I care about. And it does. Um, I'm gonna freehand this next one though. You know what, screw this. Ow! I'm gonna use the Sigma liner again, but this time I'm gonna use it in black. And also, what I'm gonna do, share a little secret with you guys that I just recently learned. I asked my friend Mara why her eyeliner was so perfect all the time, and she said that she uses a silicone tipped liner brush. See that? That's not, those aren't hairs. That's a little silicone pencil tip. She told me, you know how there's always one little stray hair on your liner brush that always messes up your liner? And I was like, no, but apparently there is. And um, she said with this, um, that is not the case. It's way easier to use, it's way more precise. This Sigma liner is so nice and so cooperative. Um, and I love, she was right about the silicone tipped brush. Um, I got it at Ulta for like six bucks. It was super cheap. I went up to one of the like sales girls and I was like, hey, do you have a silicone tipped eyeliner brush? And she was like, no. And then I Googled it and found it myself. So if they tell you, tell you that they don't have it at Ulta, they do. Just look around. Um, the brand is Real Techniques. So do that. Oh, fuck, I have eyeliner on my nose. Oh fuck, I have lipstick on my nose. Shit. So I think I've about got my line th thick enough where I need it to be. All right, I was trying to show how doing the cat eye freehand instead of the, with the scotch tape method was faster and easier, but then my camera died. Um, I stopped the cat eye where I was and I'm now just gonna finish it. What I did was I started at the bottom lash line and just sort of uh, took my wing up to sort of get it where I wanted it to be. And then drew it back in, um, just to get a really um, precise point. And then, and then, I ran out of room on my memory card, so my camera died again. I think the universe is trying to tell me to just stick to the written word. 
which is fine. Anyway, my cat eye is finally done. Um, if you can believe it or not, the one I freehanded took less time than the one that I used scotch tape for, even after everything. All the stopping and starting. I would prefer doing this freehand over putting office supplies on my face any day. Had I had that same line of thinking throughout other times in my life, I may have, like, I don't know, passed algebra. But, whatever, I can do a great wing. So, what do you guys think? Um, do you do a cat eye all the time? And if you do, how do you do it? Do you use gel? Do you use liquid? Um, do you use a pencil? And what do you apply it with? Do you prefer a brush? Or do, do any of you use the silicone tipped little pencil like I have? Do you use scotch tape? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, let's talk down in the comments. It's been real.